This is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, it's season five, episode 43 of the Chris Abraham Show. This is Chris Abraham, and I don't think there's anything going on of any note in my life, except I took basically Monday and Tuesday off off to try to clean my apartment, but it was unsuccessful. All I did was organize and create more clutter, so that's very sad. But I do have three bags of bags uh, set to send to my twin sister, Linda Goyne, and then she's going to eBay them. So I'm trying to, uh, reduce my number of bags. I have too many bags. I want to be more portable of a person. So I might have to give till it hurts. Um, right now I'm under the weight of my 55 pound bag and... I have on one of my uh, cool non-tear nylon large size kit bag, running kit bag in gray. I also have too many kit bags, but I use them all the time, so I don't feel bad about that. Uh, um, What else? Okay, yeah, I received a a book by Hybrid Calisthenics, and uh, it basically is a plan on how to do calisthenics and bodyweight exercises towards strength and fitness, and I'm starting today at 2 o'clock. Today is just uh, three to five sets of uh, push-ups and three to five sets of sit-ups, I think. Um. I'm going to be doing assisted push-ups and sit-ups because I'm weak. But when I'm finished with that and I click the done button on my task list, I'm going to see if I can do some more kind of suspension trainer stuff and maybe start doing some stuff like I said on Fun Slow by using my 53-pound backpack as a de facto uh, sandbag or, you know, sandbag. Sandbag training is what they do, right? So I know that's what uh, rucking is partially about, right? It's both about uh, at least, you know, go ruck rucking training includes both um, rucking, but also strength and movement exercises using the handles on the bag, the rucker, as a way of like, you know, holding it over your head, doing military presses, doing curls, doing, I don't know, squats, all that other kind of fun stuff. So it's not that hot yet. Please forgive me for all the breathing. I'm not actually out of breath. I just, uh, just a loud breather, man. Um, I've been getting a lot of people complimenting me on my weight loss, but I've been this, I've lost 55 pounds weeks and weeks ago. And I think the reason that is, is because I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing more of a fitted shirt. I told you I went from the cotton shirt to, uh, the, we probably won't meet them for this part. Oh, I see. Yeah, but went from the fitted, uh, from the baggy, like cotton Eddie Bauer shirts to uh, the shirts that are more uh, polypropylene. So I guess they're more tight fitting, or at least form fitting. So I think people actually see my weight loss as opposed to just seeing me in a in a baggy Moo Moo t-shirt. So that's good. That feels good, right? Um, my diet's been pretty crappy lately. 
actually had ice cream last night, but that's the last of it. This morning I ate a way too big amount of, uh, a way too big amount of, uh, ground beef. And, uh, and uh, a bunch of eggs. So I'm going to make that my one meal a day. And then start doing that. Start having a huge ass breakfast. And then basically, como uh, uh intermittent fast for, you know, 23, 24, 22 hours a day. Committing to that is actually going to help me because, you know, it's really tempting to eat ready-made food at the Giant or go get um, burgers from McDonald's and throw away the buns and that kind of deal. So whatever calories I get in the morning based on that ground beef and those eggs and that butter um, and the hot sauce is uh, all the calories I'm going to get. I want to do another 20, 25 pound loss in the next, in August. I want August to be a very, a very successful month in terms of weight loss. Cause I know that it gets harder when the winter comes, right? So it's harder when the winter comes because you're less likely to go outside and spend the day and you're more likely to go ahead and become an indoor cat. So there's that. So I look forward to today. Um, yesterday was the first day of uh, Dog Days of Summer Concept 2 Rowing Challenge. And uh, I didn't start yesterday, but the way it works is the first week, the whole week, you need to get 10,000 meters. I think the second week is 20,000. The third week is 30,000. The fourth week is 40,000. So Starting tonight at around 9 o'clock, I'm going to do 10,000 meters slowly, like on the, uh, while I'm watching, maybe s Sound of Fury, Sound of Thunder, Sound of Freedom, Sound of Freedom. I think I'm going to watch Sound of Freedom tonight because nothing pairs with uh, Concept 2 Indoor Rower Erging Challenges as the trafficking of, uh, of children. And, uh, people with, uh, brain worms. So tonight I'm going to have brain worms and tonight I'm going to watch sound of freedom. And I watched 10 minutes of it already. Like my buddy has a Plex server and I watched a pirated version and it was really, really heavy handed, you know, uh, Ooh, it's really loud over there. Maybe we'll get the the thing uh, finished really early. So it was really kind of stultifying. So I don't know. Like, I'm going to force myself to watch it. I watched Barbie on, um, on Pirate. And no matter what kind of intervention and ugly, like, uh, handy cam, handheld, video of it that was an amazing movie i really loved it and if you think it's one thing or another if you think that it's feminist or anti-feminist or patriarchal or anti-patriarchal you're not looking deep enough it actually i think is more kind of turfy it's like you know women be women men be men it's actually individualism because at the end ken says i am no longer a ken my name is ken and Barbie's like, I am no longer a Barbie. My name is Barbie. My name is Barbara. So, uh, so instead of Borgism, instead of collectivism, I dare say at the end of the movie, it's a uh, rugged individualism, which is an amazing American trait and antithetical to the Marxist Leninist, uh, um, uh, dog whistles in uh, American society right now. And on that note, I have, I will be using this episode to try out that Adobe AI sound controller. So I'm just going to continue talking through this. And if you guys can't hear this awful background noise, 
when you listen to this uh, podcast, then we know that the AI cleaner should solve all of my uh, deepest, darkest issues. And then I can continue doing like really crappy stuff with terrible noise in the background and you won't be bothered by it at all. But uh, there's a giant machine from Diamonds Management Group that I believe it's called a Butt Dog 1200. So I believe they're pouring mud or they're draining mud or they're draining water or they're draining water from underground or they're putting something or there's sucking something or whatever, but it's loud AF. Um, what else? Alerta de construcción. Alerta de construcción. Sweet. Um, uh, wow, they're both, they're both out here. This is me a loud day. Uh, I'm glad that I'm convinced that none of all y'all ever listen to these things, so quality control isn't that much of an issue. And, um, so I could do things like sing, whatever will be, will be, the future's not ours to see. What will be, will be. What will be, will be. So there we go. All right. So pretty excited about that. Uh, damn, this bag is so heavy. Taking a day off made me realize that. But it also makes me realize that this crazy 55 pounds that I'm carrying, which is appallingly heavy, is how much weight I've lost. So I keep losing the sight because I'm just looking at numbers and I'm like, I might have lost 55 pounds, but I have 75 pounds to go. So instead of focusing on that, I'll realize that every five pounds lost makes me healthier and look better. And it's not a binary thing of zero, it's not a zero sum game, right? So uh, it's a progression. And the amount of function and mobility and comfort and confidence and health associated with that first 55 is insurmountable. Like it, it's brought all of my labs back into focus. And the doctor even like lowered the uh, dose of my medicine. So, you know, you know how it goes. Okay. I'm Oh, Random guy in a bus bench playing loud bebop, not bebop, bop, like 1950s crooner music. Very bizarre. And probably when I use Adobe AI, you will be able to hear that. I'm expecting magic from that because it freaking takes 10 minutes to run the entire cycle. And last episode, I just did not have enough F-U-C-Ks to, like, wait for it to happen, right? So, uh, I am not going to IDITOS today. I'm going to go straight to the office, so to speak. And by office, I mean uh, Columbia Pike Public Library, Arlington Public Library. They open at 10 till 8, and I'm going to be there until 2. And at two, I'm going to go to Walter Reed Park, do that workout, and then return. Maybe have a coffee at Ideto's, and then return to uh, the library and leave there at, what, 7.45 when they uh, ask everybody to close up and leave. Um, it's that kind of thing where libraries... When they say they close at 8, they mean the doors close at 8. Not like cafes where they say they're basically open till 8. And then then you can start leaving. It's more like you better be out by 8 p.m. So I think that's misleading. I think they should say closes at 7.45. Um, 
But I mean, the services are available till uh, eight o'clock, right? If you rush in at 7.55 or 7.58, you can drop off a book, I guess. Dude, I'm so slow. Oh, I also downloaded this app called Runna, R-U-N-N-A. Um, and I'm going to use their Couch to 5K training plan. So we'll see, right? Uh, it's, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are my days of working out. So that's perfect. I can do my training, uh, on Saturday while I'm at the, uh, the park run, right? So that'll be good. Um, I don't know. I should be bicycling a little bit this week because then I bicycle on Saturday and uh, it might be nice to not just do that once a week. But right now I'm focusing on just getting this walking done. So, but you know, biking would be fun because you get like wind in your hair and all the other kind of stuff. But I'm sure I put in a couple pounds now that I've been eating badly for the last week or so including uh freaking ice cream but uh now like i said i'm gonna be more rigorous and vigorous about it and we'll see what happens inshallah i need to start working on my self-control muscle i've been making excuses by saying that if i uh exercise this much my body needs the fuel to recover and my body needs the fuel from protein and so forth. So I've been eating more than I expected. But I feel like I will let my body use fat as a source. I'm not a performance monkey. I'm merely doing things very slowly over a long amount of time. And while the load is great, uh, it's not explosive. It's not weight training. I'm not going for... Hypertroph hypertrophy? Hyper hyper hy hypo hypertrophy? Hypertrophy? I don't know. I'm not going to get all jacked. I'm just trying to get strong and fit and be able to do things like push up and sit up, get up and bend over and squat and lift and pull and push. And I've always had an incredibly weak pull up and an incredibly weak military press. So those are things I want to focus on too. And I will try not to get hit by this dude with the forklift. And I will talk to you soon. You guys be very well. Lots of love and talk to you soon. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time oh thank you